Hi, my name is Jack Sanderson, and I am a licensed mental health therapist. I specialize in working with teens and parents of teens. My why is to empower, inspire, and motivate as many people as possible. I have the pleasure of meeting you today because you clicked on my video about conquering failure. Even though I specialize in working with teens and parents of teens, this video about conquering failure will apply to anyone of any age. I hear many parents of teens talk about how they're worried that their kid doesn't try new things because they're afraid of failure. It wasn't until I was raising my own child that it dawned on me, we need to change how we define failure. That's the goal of this lesson that you're gonna take for yourself and to teach your kids. Most of us perceive failure as a negative thing, something that we don't want, something that is embarrassing or shameful, or it means that we're not good at something. But here's the truth. Success is built on failure. We need lots of failure to succeed. Now, however you define success, because that's going to be different for everybody, correct? You're going to need failure to create the success. We need failure. Failure is necessary. Failure is the greatest teacher you're ever going to have. By changing how we perceive failure from a negative, embarrassing, shameful, I'm not good enough state of mind to a state of mind of how failure is necessary for growth. How many fails do I think it's going to take before I become successful at doing an amazing cartwheel? When we see fails as something that's necessary on our route to success, failure doesn't become such a scary thing anymore. It actually becomes something that we want to achieve so we can get closer to our success. With that being said, here are three steps to bring all of that together for you so you can start perceiving failure as a stepping stone to success. Let's stick with the cartwheel example. Your first step in conquering failure is going to be to set a goal. Picture how you wanna do a cartwheel. I wanna do a cartwheel like that person in that video. That's my goal. The second step is to experiment. Be like a scientist. Practice and practice different ways, different methods. Each attempt is a learning opportunity. You're allowing failure to be your teacher. And step number three is collecting data for analysis. Every time you make a cartwheel attempt and you have a fail, you're going to collect data. What did I do that time that I need to do next time to improve my cartwheel? I didn't put my hands down in the appropriate place or I kicked off too much, or I didn't keep my legs straight that time. So each time the failure is causing you to be more mindful of what you need to do to have success. Instead of focusing so much on the failure and how that feels and how awful it is, we're focusing on, wow, these failures are really helping me get better at being able to do this cartwheel. Each fail brings me closer to success. Now that doesn't mean that failure isn't going to be challenging or it isn't gonna get frustrating, that you aren't gonna get impatient somewhere along the way, but wouldn't you rather have this perspective on failure versus the old perspective? Wouldn't you rather teach your kids how to fail successfully versus fighting with them about they're not a failure, all you need to do is practice, try, try again, embrace failure, use it for you, Teach your kids to embrace failure and use it for them to see failure as their greatest teacher and you will conquer failure. As always, thank you for being here and make sure you stick around on my channel to watch all of the other videos that I have for you. It wouldn't hurt to subscribe so that you get alerted every time I put out a new video. Thanks for being here. Have a great day.